if you could guess the price of this within ten thousand dollars you win the kilogram of silver we're not in some city, we're in the city. I want to say 40,000. 40,000 is your guess, sir? 20 is your guess, sir. We're not on the edge of it, we're in the center of it. Right now, there's so much money out there, it's retarded. I'm gonna say 1.4 million. 1.4 million over here? We're not, you know, in the shoe business, we're in the jewelry business. I'll tell you, I'll tell you when to open your eyes, sir. And we have- 140,000. 140,000. Center, 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 center. So these are all the pieces that are coming out that I've already just designed. And we want to have the AI technology. 220. 220 over here. Does anybody else want to guess? The winner of the kilogram of silver. The best in the industry tracks NYC. In order to develop this business, there's different, different sections. This is the marketing section right here where we market the business. And then you have people working remotely as well. You got sales over there on the phone. You've got uh, the store, you've got upstairs, which I like to call the mothership. That is where we produce and we service the website and we ship. And then you have, you know, freelancers that develop the website, all right? And we want to have the AI technology and we're going to be able to take all the conversations that we've had uh, in our sales department and feed it into an AI so we can give you 24-7 service that never fails. You love it. You love it. Fourth of July. Four, every time Fourth of July comes by, they take off one or two weeks off. It's like about maybe, uh, I, I would say 80, 70, 80 percent of the block is closed. You don't have that. That's what Max wants, like really wants. He's like, as long as you bring me that, I'll be happy. But what do you have? What do you have that is, that is, um, yeah. I go up right now. The Max wants to do a video. Green emerald, but it's like for a necklace. An emerald cut does uh, like a set, big set, and it's, they named it uh, Wakanda. But they shipped it out to Singapore. It's coming back in a week, bro. Can you show me something similar to it? Maybe smaller, but then that's not good. Max want that big sh That necklace is perfect. That, that Wakanda necklace that we have? Yeah. I'm gonna try to set it up like that. So it's not the same. Tell, tell me what 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 does he want? Uh, ask him what he wants. I told him about millions right here. This this parcel here is like 1.5 million. You want to do it later when we come back? Then we'll have the right piece. Okay, so you are gonna set it up? Don't go don't go crazy, and then I don't know if he will, I think he wants to do it at, at the store over there. Okay. Yep, it's my steed. My mighty steed, you know what I'm I know when you're pulling up to a million dollar f***ing business, you snap. Lambo, but you're expecting someone else. I handle my my way, you know what I'm saying? Get that through your f***ing heads. So these are all the pieces that are coming out that I've already just designed. Yeah, so that's fire. Right there. A opal, 34 carat opal, right? I got a 7 Mac 11, 8 38s, 9 9 10s, Mac 10s, the sh never ends right here. So I've got all that. This is a new cross. Here's a penguin. None of this hit the market yet. I got Buster Rhymes, who for Split Star that I had, I made the piece. He got an I'm on surprise piece. Let me show you what's going on over here. You see me a split right there. It's insane. Look at this mural, bro. It's crazy, bro. That piece went all over hip-hop in history over here. Me and Buster Rhymes laughing it up with Spliff Star, bro. That's what he got right there. Uh, so I got to do that. And I haven't done nothing. It's a matter of building a machine for anybody who's listening, for anybody who wants to learn business. You, we have the, the, the production level went up, but the marketing got bottlenecked. I gotta edit a crazy video about gemstones. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. They could they could do reviews, they could do this, they could do that. The machine has to be able to market and everything has to be on a level. Like say, you know, you have an assembly line. Cars are being put together, but the paint, they're not being painted fast enough, okay? So now you got a bunch of cars already assembled, but they're waiting for the paint jobs to be done and you can't get that done fast enough. So you are, have a bottleneck over there. You gotta get your paint shop up, up, up to point. And then they need to be transported to the dealerships, but the dealerships aren't ready. You know, you got to have everything in a row. So every, as everything moves out and I approve these projects, everything goes, it gets to the marketing, it gets to this, it gets to that. 
It's a business game, and that's why you're watching the district. You're not watching it for a bunch of stupid shit. This isn't um, uh, loving hip hop or whatever it is where we're going to be cursing at each other. These are beautiful peacocks right here. Pirate ship. Anybody want to buy a pirate ship? Boom. Bang. These are crazy pieces, crazy concepts that could be made into jewelry. But it doesn't necessarily have a market because people want to buy fully iced. That's what we got to make. You know what I'm saying? And it's very simple, but it's nice to have something that could be wild. Snake pen that's as scary as hell. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at this gemstone snake right here, bro. Look how crazy that looks. That's crazy. With all those multicolor stones, you know? The question is, will it sell? Will it go viral? Will it market to business? This is the gorilla head joint. All right, we got the grizzly bear, we got the tiger, we got the lion. And look at these crazy pieces right here. All right, so we never really decided what to do with that, but that's wild. Roman Sharf's Viking bracelet. So she's uh, done hundreds of projects. Everybody's got a different taste. And they would say, oh, spider pendant. I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's just a cool concept, but I don't really want to, nobody really wants to wear a spider around their neck. I, I don't think somebody does. <laughs> hey, listen, we made this Pergosian chain. This sold in 14K. I invested a lot of money in this and it was sold. A four, uh, this is an 18K version of a skull head. Now, somebody wants to wear a skull head chain. I'm one of those people. I mean, this is my set today. I got a Franco. I got another Franco. I got the 24 carat tracks piece. 14 carat Franco. That's heavy. And this um, uh, skull head chain. It's my gold. It's my gold look. It's like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Where's it? What happened today? Tupac's ring is at auction. We're making this ring. I'll tell you that much. Sotheby's. Who told Tupac to wear this ring? How did he get rubies in his ring? In a crown ring like this? That's a dope ring. How did that happen? Somebody made that ring. They didn't make it specifically for Tupac. Tupac yeah. saw it. And he saw that's the flyest ring here. Yeah. It encompassed what Tupac wanted. And that's it. And that's how these pieces are going to get sold. Someone's going to come in and they're going to say, this is me. This is me. This is me. Or this is me. Or maybe this is me. Now I think that this is me. All right, which one of them is you? And that's what we're trying to do. Look at this ring. Right, uh, with the blue enamel. Okay, so I, I wouldn't mind making that one as well. But my favorite one is going to be, this is cool, this is cool. This one is the one. Yeah, just clean up the top and the rest is going to be correct. But this is the one I want to make. You guys can make the original, the first one, this one, and some of, and something else I don't even know what. So if you want to make, I think we should just make two. All right. You make a, a small one, and this is just the right size, and that's going to be the addition to our collection. Uh, but that's really the news finished. We're going to review the rest of our stuff later, but at, the, at this time, you could just start the anchor pendants and get going on that, and then we're going to uh, go on a mission to get this gemstone right here. Large collection of jewelry that needs to be brought to the marketplace, but we're going to do that later. Right now, we're making the, what do you call it, pendant? <laughs> the last supper, I know. I know. Who <laughs> wants There's a million projects. Yeah. Okay, well, where's the emerald? The emerald, I, he's preparing it. You want me to bring it to the store here when it's preparing? Yeah, I'll take a look at it. You know what I'm saying? Bring it to the store. But I really wanted the Wakanda joint. That really would have been the, the immediate pack. But when is that coming back? When is Singapore finishing up? It's only at the 18. We'll have it back. All right. Okay, let's go to uh, what he called and see what the hell is going on. All right. So. This is it? Oh my gosh, bro. I've never seen anything like this in my life. Okay, Melissa, are you ready to take a look? All right. Well, this is a real actress as usual, but I'll tell you I'll tell you when to open your eyes. Right? And we have... Well, I guess this is what we have. Sorry, Melissa. This is... You can open your eyes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. So this is a rough cut emerald. This is a piece of rough emerald that came straight from the... Uh from the uh, in mines of uh, Colombia and it's in the shape of Israel. Oh, okay. And that's in the shape of Israel. So um, what are you gonna take out of this? I mean, if you wanna take a look at how it's supposed to be, you got uh, this, some interesting emerald over here. The crystalline. This okay. is from Muzo, the most expensive mine in all Colombia. All right, and how are we gonna turn this 
into uh, how many carats of a stone could be possibly in here? Uh, or how many stones are going to be out of this? This is not for, this is for a religious article. Like you can engrave the Torah over here, or you can put a mezuzah inside and this would be like one of the most beautiful mezuzahs. How much is this stone right here? This is going for five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars? That's it? Yeah. Well, it would, that's why we were learning about gemstones here, because we don't know what the hell we're looking at. This is a piece of history. Piece of Colombia, right in New York. Right. A piece of Colombia and a piece of Israel. We're not going to extract any of these stones. Here's the miner. He's a former marine. Oh, you mine this out? All right. Well, nice to meet you, man. So, what made you go down initially to the mines, man? Uh, my father, because my father retired about four years ago right and he found he found his old contact with his buddy that was in Bogota right at the time when he started off was him just like a small little miner finding a couple of stones now he has his own shop his own jewelry uh he's got his own uh, parcel over there in uh, the mine so how did you uh, get this out of the ground man the mines they go in uh with the trucks they mine them out and then they breathe they extract all the rocks and then they have all the miners depending who pig got there first they line them all up. They always throw all the gravel and everything that's on all the dirt right. in like a row. And then they just come in with bags, lift it up, and whatever you get, you get. And you, uh, and we were like, I mean, you, ha you had a bucket of your own and you looked through or how to, yeah. Correct. Uh, yeah, my guys uh, were able to extract that from uh, a couple of barrels that they got. And did you get any other uh, emeralds uh, out of there or? Oh, uh, yeah, we have more. This is all stuff you mined, Ralph, right? So you've been mining. How long have you been mining, man? I've been in this for about two years. So. so you mine this and you turn it into jewelry? Correct. Let me just see some of the emeralds that you've been mining, right? So you got some raw emeralds right here. Yes, sir. And um, uh, were you happy with your latest find of uh, what it was? Yeah. Because so it's well, a gamble because you never know when you when, yeah, we you, could, you could get a big rock and, and it will change everything. Yeah. I mean, it also goes from who you know. Uh, from the source, it's much cheaper. Mm -hmm. And then from there, when it gets from there to Bogota, mm -hmm. it, of course, it increases price. From Bogota to the exterior cities like Medellin, Cali, stuff like that, the price starts going up. And then when you get it from out of Colombia, go to the States and like that. We're still talking right. about emeralds, right? <laughs> we're, not talking about, <laughs> we're not talking about. We're not talking about. We're not talking about Hunter Biden right now, right? Well, listen. Congratulations on what you found thus far. These are crazy pieces, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Good luck on that uh, big find. Thank you. You know, you're going back to the mines. Hopefully, the summer in August. Is it crowded over there? Hey, come take a look whenever you want. I'll, I'm definitely down to go down there. And, and if I could ever make it to come back, that would also be good. <laughs> Yeah. We're not in some city, we're in the city. And we're not on the edge of it, we're in the center of it. We're not, you know, in the shoe business, we're in the jewelry business. The center, 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 center. A four billion years of, of whatever the hell's been going on. We gotta make the most of it. People from around the world can come down here and buy gold, gemstones, black onyx, diamonds, watches, and have dinner with us and the Lord right here so this is a beautiful 3d graphic what are we gonna do with this we just need a frame a beautiful frame and the rest the background is gonna be all diamond you know what i'm saying and we're gonna make it a, a small one because we have you know and then a bigger one you got this is the frame and then you got the details on this i'm scared to touch this thing right here monster size this is the actual leonardo da vinci last supper right here it's gonna cost a lot of money it's a big investment, but I know it's going to be beautiful. I know we can make it go viral. I know that, or some to some degree, all white diamonds. I'm probably going to do. It's just going to be. This gets some, you know, time to keep it simple. People really want the fully iced. I like to do a lot of gold. I like to do a lot of bulk. A lot of designs. Only gives a shit about that. And that's going to be a fully iced with the Last Supper in detail and a big in piece white gold back yellow gold frame and yellow gold uh supper over here and the finished product is going to be completely wild this i don't know how the hell they're going to cast this but then we're going to have the emerald cut one crazy all right so you're looking at it before anything and everything is done the crown pendants saint lazarus this is there's so many things shout out to grain market roman don't even know this is coming out there's so many things that we're working on that it makes your head spin in all reality. Like saying, look what that see me. We are in blue. Stop asking me. Guns all the time.
Porsche to put my gun. Look at that. Crazy, right? I'm saying I put this post up with a with a contest at the end, all the new pieces, all the fire shit, all the shit we're producing, getting on the website and doing that, and it's do and it's blowing up. We're fine-tuning our business skills, and I'm fine-tuning the business skills of all the people that work here. If you've been following these episodes from the beginning, you know we're, we're developing a business. We're not just doing some jewelry shit. And how fast I, I said in the beginning, if I can, when I can, if I can, you'll see if I do develop this business. But we're really way closer to that than ever. All right. So, I mean, um, uh, the ruby... And the sapphire, holy shit. Okay, this is another ruby, but it's nice to have the ruby sapphire this. All right, so we're gonna play the game. You wanna guess the price? All right, boss. We're playing just a small little game, okay? So you got 156 carats of emeralds. If you could guess the price within $20,000, I'll give you this silver bar. Okay, 156 carats? Yes. Oh, it's, it's a lot. Um. I'm gonna say natural Colombian emerald out right here. I'm gonna say like 700,000? 700,000? Is that way off? This is, it's 200,000, but it's all right. But you know what? Since you're a big fan of mine, man, this is still yours. Oh, uh, no. I appreciate your business. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? All right, enjoy. Thanks for coming down. From Toronto. All right, yeah. yeah. Sir, can you guess, if you could guess the price of this within. Ten thousand dollars, you win the kilogram of silver. Within ten thousand. Within ten thousand dollars is a range. Can you tell me anything about it? Uh, well, you have a hundred and forty carats of rubies. Hundred and forty carats of rubies. Yeah. Within ten thousand. Within ten thousand dollars. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, it's a little bit more than. Well, I'm gonna tell you anything. How much is it? I want to say forty thousand. Forty thousand is your guess, sir. Twenty is your guess, sir. Whoever gets the closest is gonna win it. You want to guess this? I'm gonna say one point four million. One point four million over here. 140,000. 140,000 over here. What do we have over here, sir? How much? 300,000. 300,000 over here, sir. Would you like to guess? 800,000. 850,000? 125,000. 125,000. 1 million. 1 million? 1.4. 1.4. 2.5. 5. 2.5. Sir, would you like to guess the price of this? See if you guess within 10,000, you win, or the closest? Somebody's already the closest in here. All natural? Well, you know, you're in the jewelry business. The get out of here over there, bro. You want to throw a guess real quick? 220. 220 over here. Does anybody else want to guess? 1.1. So, the winner of the kilogram of silver you've got 140 carats at twelve hundred and fifty dollars per carat a hundred and seventy five thousand unfortunately the winner is melissa okay everybody did the best that they could a beautiful stone what an emerald looks like right here guys a jolly rancher right here silver 51 grams. Platinum, 121. More than double. Gold, 72. 64 and 10K. 10K, 14K. So it's just in the rows, almost the same weight. But yeah, so we're gonna, I gotta be able to do this little lesson and people could own them, buy them. I get 121 grams of platinum in a ring. This platinum ring at 121 grams is probably the same price as the gold one now. You know, but the gold is 14K, it's not 24K. Okay, so the gold is $2,000 an ounce, but it's 14K. So that means it's around $1,100 of gold for the weight because it's not pure. But then on the other hand, it's lighter and the platinum ring per volume is heavier. So it comes out that the platinum might be more expensive in this case. But if you had it pure gold, the platinum would be less expensive. Expensive, but it would still be slightly heavier. So that is the the lessons that go along with 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 these little props that people can understand. The rose gold has copper in it, which has a value in, in the pennies, but still a value. And the silver is going to be the best bet because silver is completely underpriced. You know, to own a, a ring like this is silver ain't 51 grams. Up yet? Yeah. Um, you know, carpet's custom with what it features. Talk to yeah, you, like that. sure. I'll do that. And I'll be back. Money with us. Okay. Let's do that.
the boss here. He's suing you as a sponsor, whatever you need. I appreciate the business. Oh, wow, you got this cross. This you cross, got one you got one too. He, the order that he got the rolls going. You want to bad chain that, turn that, turn around. That, that cross is, Dude, we love it, man. It's actually Dude. generated by AI, you know, but we're generating a lot of crazy uh, jewelry by AI. And while you guys are over here, I'm gonna um, uh, show you a little presentation on something new that I'm working on. So, here's the thing is, I'm gonna give you guys two, um, uh, I'm gonna test you a little bit, your, your knowledge of metals here. So, one of these is platinum, one of these is silver. Figure out which one it is, and then you're gonna be able to see it by the weight, by holding it. I'll tell you. I can tell by but we can't touch silver, it. Silver, platinum. Exactly. Yeah, I'm okay. the same. All right, all right. Well, you guys figured it out good. I mean, they, they had a little something. Let's <laughs> see. But uh, check since uh, you were the first to do it. Uh, check the weight, and you can see the difference between the platinum and the uh, pass it around. There we go. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. The platinum is double the weight? Yeah. Double the weight, more than double. Separate, wow. and then put them together. Yeah, the platinum, sorry. You know, people asking me for gold bars, like that. Would you compare to get? You know what I'm saying? Well, you get them, but you know, you, you buy a gold bar, you put it in your sale. And you don't get to enjoy it. It just sits in the dark. With this, it's all gold or all this, and you could just buy the metal. The reason why is because it's easy to produce. I just cast it and boom, it comes out. I clean it up and it's ready to go. A little bit of labor. I don't need to assemble it. I don't need to set it. I don't need to do this and do that. So now, also the, a brick almost. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So if you, yeah, so if you want to own a little bit of metal, use it the same. Exactly. Right now, platinum is eleven hundred dollars an ounce, cheaper than gold, half the price of gold platinum right now. It's a good buy. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get platinum. You're gonna fast forward the time. Yeah, just, How much are you selling this one? I haven't even priced them yet. I just finished it, came out of the factory. If people want to buy metals and, and stock up on metals, that you know, the, the tricky thing is, is in every ring, different ring size is going to be a different price, a different size. In 1999, gold was the cheapest you could, it, it, it dropped down to like $220 an ounce. Yeah, it was cheap. Because it was at the hype of the dot-com bubble. You were like, what the? I need gold for when you have pets.com or whatever it was but once it went down a certain price everybody bought in and then ever since 9-11 it was creeping up to two thousand dollars an ounce in 2009 at the at the at the crisis then it receded back to 1200 when I started doing my videos about gold you know that was its low the 1200 what's it now now it's at 2000 it said 2000 now, which is underpriced. A lot of paper yeah. gold out there. But here's the here's the kicker. Here's why I explain gold. And if I'm ever proven right, it's going to be a big deal. The US dollar went off the gold reserve in the 1970s. Ever since then, and back then it was like $80 an ounce or something like that. You know, in the 1960s, it was like 60 bucks an ounce for, for gold. Ever since then, the amount of money that's expanded relative to the amount of, uh, of gold that's been out there. Gold should be around seventy thousand dollars an ounce. Yeah. Wow. There was times where people used to go go sail across the Atlantic and raid the Aztec Empire for 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 an ounce of gold. And I'm not saying that that's going to come back, but when you value, but if you had to evaluate the value of all these skyscrapers, all the money and all the banks and all that, and if you really had to reevaluate that by gold again, like it was in not that long ago, nineteen seventy. And you have to reevaluate that, then you have to price everything at seventy thousand dollars an ounce. Right now, there's so much money out there; it's 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 retarded. Three and a half million dollar cars, you know, all that money printed. It's all going to Saudi Arabia for the oil, and then they don't know what to do with it. They're filling their garages with Bugattis. You know what I'm saying? Three hundred thousand dollar watch is a cheap watch. You have a whole good that's, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, a Richard Meal, you know, that's the cheaper one, that's 250. Crazy. But that's the only shows because how much money is out there. Now, if the dollar fails that watch ain't gonna be no three hundred thousand dollars unless it's gonna be relative to the gold and things like that. Yeah, if it's gonna be three ounces of gold, yeah, then the watch will make sense. Because wow. they printed so much fing money, man. You know what I'm saying? Ukraine, 8, 8 billion, 10 billion, 20 billion, this and that, all that money, all that pandemic money, that all just floats away into somebody's hands and that's it. What's up with this fight, man? Are you really fighting? Yeah.